Hello everybody, I'm Spider here. Today we're playing a game called The Trees Holding Heaven. A uh, horror game that is based on Filipino culture. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. Let's just play. Okay. There we go. Didn't know why it didn't let me do that. In the Philippines, it is believed... Oh man. In the Philippines, it is believed pointing at trees brings misfortune. Since brides and shit will like, not like you if you do it. I couldn't read the last part, so that's what you get. Okay, can't jump, sprint, or crouch. Just, uh, walking. Ooh. There was a light. Oh, wow. A deer and a horse. I think that was a... I think those were supposed, uh, supposed to be, like, antlers or something. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Hey you, don't be scared, I need your help. I'm a uh, Nuno Sapunso. Uh, Duende. A protector of the forest. My name is... Lunthian? I hope I'm saying this all right. You might have realized this energy. These souls. Wandering the forest helplessly. Dark souls. See, it is known. You must consult the local duende before manipulating virgin land or destroying chi destroying trees in any way. I don't know why I can't speak right now. However, some humans came here long ago and without my consent build some kind of base. Days after, the forest changed completely. Ooh. Maybe they didn't know I existed. That would explain why they didn't ask. Anyhow. It is my responsibility to know what they do to change the forest. However, I cannot enter the base since it is made of metal. You can instead. Please, enter the base. Tell me what they did and I will fix the forest. Perfect. Later. What is hat still poking out? Okay, interesting. Ah, oh, thought we could walk up that too. That would have been fun. Pulog, like gulag, but pulog. The oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, what a game! Ooh, that was creepy, guys. I am shaking. <laughs> Huh, well there's Pulag. Some rocks surrounding it. What's this shadow from? Weird. Must just be like the sign or something. Oh boy. The trees won't let us go. Oh no! Alright Joshua, I finally figured it out. You better be right. I ain't losing that much money again. Trust me, I know what needs to be done. Listen, the human brain is nothing more than a complicated computer. Organic, of course, but still needs energy to work. Where are you going with this, Akio? Well, when somebody dies, their brain stops working. The, electri the electricity that made it run just isn't there anymore. But what if we manage to get the exact energy that the brain uses and maintain it so we can have a brain that does not have a body? Explain yourself. The brain needs energy to work. Once the body dies, the energy leaves the body. If we manage to hold that energy before it escapes, we might be able to keep it and use it. How would we do that? We need a powerful electricity conductor. That way, the energy the brain loses can be kept in a circuit permanently. Thus making, it un thus making it able to use that same energy to power a metal body. And so, giving the soul of the dead a new immortal body. Excellent, Akio. I approve this new procedure. Get started. I'm excited to see the results. So, were we listening in on somebody talking, or was that us talking like to someone on the phone? I'm pretty sure we were listening in to somebody, because... The keyboard on the floor. Hmm. Caved in on itself. Nothing should last forever. 
true. Unlike this YouTube channel. Josh, can you still read? Nah, I can't. What is it that you have there, Akio? We've been trying to find the best way to keep the energy. We have made lots of versions of this water with an augmented conductivity. However, we have gotten really high results. Dangerously high for tiny spaces, such as a metal body. Understandable. Do you need the failed ones, too? Not really. We already know the formula. Right. Then I'll throw it out. Wait, Josh. You can't throw that out. It's dangerous. It should be destroyed. Come on, it's the middle of the forest. Nobody will get hurt by a glass of water. Sounds of water falling. What the hell, Josh? The plants could get that water. You could kill the forest. Water is water. Besides, what is the worst that could happen? A couple of dead trees? Trees already are conductors of electricity. This water could maximize that property. The forest can, could become a soul prison. Ooh, that's spooky, guys. Any more dialogue? Yep. We... We really messed up. Joshua died because of his lung cancer two weeks ago. The metal body has worked, though. His brain's electricity has successfully been transplanted to the conductive water torso. But... It seems as if that electricity needs to be filtered. Without a brain to process the information, the maintained electricity contains. It just goes deeper and deeper into insanity. Joshua will start rampaging the place soon. We think. I've left messages. Hope he understands what has happened. What went wrong. But we can't look back now. If we don't get out fast enough, he will follow us. And if we are killed by his enormous iron body, we might stay here too. Yes. Since Josh threw the conductive water prototypes out the window, I've seen animals shaped as what I would call energy orbs, and others would call ghosts. That's spooky, man. Oh no, it's Josh. I can't move, or I can't move. Why are we stopped? It's the hat. Lenthian, you, what have you become? A machine powered by your own soul, consumed slowly by both rust and insanity. You tried to break nature's rules. You, greedy human, have destroyed part of this virgin land. You have condemned the inhabitants of the forest to wander endlessly. You angered the woods, you disrespected the trees, and so you have disrespected me. Damn, that is some rhyme. Thus, I punish you to accept your fate. Leave that metal body behind and fear for the destiny that awaits a self-indulgent soul as you, such as you. Whoopsies. Oh no. He's sinking into the ground. He is best put to rest. Thanks for helping me out. Now I know what caused the forest to change. I will clean the water underground. In some weeks, the trees should come back to normal. You can go home. You deserve it. You are a pure human. Thank you. Poggers. Pulag Research Laboratories is grateful for the help of the following organizations. Eee, Sir Tartarus. I believe now that, um, as of right now, I have played every single game that Sir Tartarus has developed, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, he is coming out with a new game, though, fairly soon, I hope, so I am going to be playing that on the channel. You know, Sir Tartarus' games, I just like them, you know, they're cool. And there we go, Sir Tartarus. But anyways, that was the trees holding heaven. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.
Shepherd.